Hey everybody, welcome back to Photorec.tv. I'm Toby and I'm back with another Monday Minute. These are quick tips designed to help you along in your photographic journey. We've been working our way through a series of Lightroom tips and today I wanna to talk about maximizing your screen real estate. On my left, I've got an iMac 27 inch. I love working in Lightroom on that machine, but I don't take that machine on the road with me. I'm now taking this little 13 inch Dell XPS and I love how small and lightweight it is when traveling. I don't love working in Lightroom though because there's not a lot of room for the pictures with all of the panels taking up space. So let me give you some tips and tricks for making that a little bit easier. All right, you've got four panels in Lightroom, top, right, bottom, and left. If you look carefully, each panel has a small triangle. Here you have the one at the top, and over here on the right, just off the frame, and bottom, and left. The left and the right panels can be shown and hidden by hitting the tab key. You can also click those little triangles, and that panel will disappear until you mouse over it. But the left and the right usually isn't an issue. But you can hide those to give yourself more space. Let's move to another image, a landscape or horizontal image that shows you a little bit more how they take up the room, but still not so much of a big deal. The panels at the top and the bottom can also be hidden. They don't work with the mouse over though. They stay hidden. And you say, well, now I've lost access to my library and develop. Well, there are keyboard shortcuts that get you into each of these modules. Learn those and you never have to use up this space again. Honestly, the only thing I think it's good for is if you are showcasing your work to clients and you want your little personalized nameplate over here, as I showed in an earlier Monday Minute. You can also hide the bottom one as well. Um, and that one will mouse over. So all three of the useful ones will mouse over, the top one won't. So that's one way you can kind of maximize your screen real estate and get just a little bit more room for your images. Now, another thing that you can do is of course, hit the F key. This puts Lightroom into full frame mode. Your picture is shown as large as your monitor and keeps it fitting there. Uh, keyboard shortcuts still work. So for instance, you can hit the Z key and it's going to zoom in. But without the navigator, you don't really have control over where it zooms in. You can of course grab this and move it around so you can find something interesting like the comet. Uh, and you can rate these images still and set a color label to them if you wish as well, just by tapping those keyboard shortcuts. But I do find that many machines are a little bit slower when working in full window mode, just because it has to display that image so very large. There's another series of keyboard shortcuts that will cycle you through some other useful displays. Shift plus F will cycle through a more full missing, really just that top program bar. Shift F again, now you are in full window mode, no other signs of anything on your machine. That gives you a little bit more room. And Shift F one more time will bring you back to the normal view. So that's three different views that you can cycle through the normal, one without the program bar, and then full screen. And I have shown this in a previous tip too, real quick. L, this doesn't actually add any more workspace, but this is the lights out mode. And it allows you without any distracting elements around to take a few moments and examine that photo. And again, keyboard shortcuts work in this mode as well. You can go forward and back. And of course you can rate images if you like in this mode. And I find it fairly snappy because it keeps the image at the preview size that you've built. Whereas full screen is trying to load a larger version of that image. So we can hit L one more time to go to full black background, L to come back to normal, and Shift F to hide the program bar, Shift F again to move into the full screen mode.
I hope you appreciated this quick video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe along with pressing that little bell so that you'll be notified of future videos. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy this fun drone footage. Bye-bye.